Options available. Ask Kilo Zero Three to arrange for a helicopter and a stinger for when they get out. This is Inspector Webb, South Sussex. Priority call. I request urgent impasse. Kilo Zero One. Due to other tasks, air support is not available for another 20 minutes. Oh. I have lost visual on the subject vehicle. I need backup here now to apprehend them on the exit. Kilo zero 01, I have been rammed by the subject vehicle. My vehicle is severely damaged and I need urgent assistance now. I'm on the fourth floor by the ramp. Okay, I'm putting it down. Over there. Move. Right down. Go! No! We're letting him go. We're letting him go. On the ground, hands behind your back. You move. You dead. Zero. 
Priority call. I'm requesting a live cell trace. Everything at this raid, so listen up. Donna's phone has been triangulated to one of these outbuildings. It's a sprawling site, so it's going to be a nightmare to search. Now, as we know, this gang are armed and well aware we're after them. Firearms are going first, capture the gang, secure the scene. Then, and only then, response teams go in. Where we go. Foxtrot 2 to Foxtrot 1, in position now. We're just going to have to wait this one out. Spoken to Corey yet? He's still at his grand's. Hardly surprised him. No, 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 don't do that. I, I, I'm not a, a homophobic or whatever, yeah? I've never had a problem with you, Donna. Donna, my boyfriend, that. That's because he's a solicitor. Not because he's. What I say? You can't catch it just because you say it. Look, this is different, all right? Corey is young. He's confused. He's had a lot to cope with. His mum died, right? It's probably just a phase, anyway. A phase? Look, Ryan, just admit it. You're not okay with your son being gay. All right, I'm not, all right? Good. At least you're being honest. How did he react when you told him? I don't know. My dad's never had a real emotion in his life. All units, this is Kilo 03. Three subject males have left the building making off his subject vehicle. All units, strike, strike, strike. Obviously, the priority for CID is to find evidence that links the gang to the thefts, the ATM, money, tools, etc. So split up, bag up anything you think relevant, leave the rest to CSI who are en route.
We better get CSI down there. Yeah. Get some fingerprints off these. Oh, dead spot. Don't touch him. I love that. I'm not in the jungle, eh? Did you land a pretty good punch yourself? Mm -hmm. Well, I've lost in speed, I've made up for in accuracy. Look, Jake, I understand you're no. Yes, Moffat. Yes, sir. I want you to be the SIO on this case. If you're ready. Uh, yeah, definitely ready, sir. Yeah. CSI, evidence collection, custody, interview strategy. All yours. Thank you, sir. Thanks. <laughs> We have recovered DNA from the inside of this balaclava. We will be running it against the fingerprints you provided today and we'll have the test results back in a few days. Are we going to find your DNA on this item? No comment. DC Hawkins, I believe you have another exhibit for us. I do. I am now showing the suspect exhibit DP0002, a Glock 9mm pistol. Can you see the gun? No comment. Right, but you can see the gun. There's nothing wrong with your eyesight. Detective. It's Detective Sergeant. Are we going to find your fingerprints on this firearm? What are you looking at your solicitor for? It's a simple yes or no question. No comment. Is there any reason for you to have handled this firearm? No comment. Officers have identified you from your clothing as having been present when police were threatened with a firearm at the Croxford multi-storey car park. Were you there when this incident happened? My client insists he wasn't present. He's adamant this has nothing to do with him. Adamant? He's, he's adamant? Yeah. Right, well, we'll leave it there then. Interview terminated at 1700 hours. I'm just going to make a quick phone call. <coughs> That's fantastic. Thank you. All right, will do. Cheers. CPS happy to authorise all charges for all suspects. Get in. Caught in the morning, which means they will be remanded in custody and I will be very hungover. <laughs> right, I'm going to go and do the honours. You can round up the troops for the pub. Yeah, you might want to dial back a bit on that. Smug smile when you charge them. Not a chance. I'm turning it up to 11. Got to get your kicks while you can in this job. And? You're going to be put forward for a divisional commander's commendation. <sighs> Cheers, boss. Well deserved. Without you, you wouldn't have four dangerous criminals in custody. Oh, 
It was a team effort. Initiated by your quick thinking. You get your formal letter in a week with your invitation to the next ceremony. So, keep your eyes peeled. I oh, will. You know this job. 80% a bureaucratic ball ache. But moments like this... You decent? Yes! <laughs> yes! Tea and yes! Well done. How's your head? Nice to fit it through the door. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I'm not going to let it change oh, me. Oh, you're still going to talk to us little people then, mm, yeah? Yes, if I have time. Jeez, <laughs> James! Are you ready for a drink? No. Okay. I'll see you later, mate. Should we go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that all right? Yes. Hey, what's that? Got a first one. Oh, I didn't realise that was the time. I promised to go home tonight. Oh, come on. You're just having a quick one. Oh, hang on. Do you reckon we should divide the balls? To the pub? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> kind of, I'll never say yes. Really? Nice, sir. Let's do it. Let's go. You okay? Yeah, no, I'll tell you later. What's this? Travelling en masse? Yeah, just going out for a drink, celebrating the good result with the ATM gang. Maybe I should tag along. What, you want to come out with a load of cops who are celebrating catching a gang that you're defending? Sounds fun. <laughs> no. Nah, not a good idea. I'll see you later. Right, come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. Are you? Come on, guys. You're gonna give me a backy. <laughs> I want you. Hey, does anyone want a lift? Yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna be late. Oh, come on. This is for you. This is. Hi. I can't. Alice is cooking. Yeah. I want to tell her about today. <laughs> Guys, actually, I'm going to head home. Oh, OK. Have a good one tonight, OK? Thank Behave you yourselves. Are. Take care. Be safe. See ya. Nice. Watch your clothes. I had a corgi in here earlier. Shed like a bastard. And then it was like, I, I just didn't think. I just chucked it over as they, as they drove off. And it was only afterwards that I actually realised what I'd done. And I was shaking after. My hand was going like this, but it wasn't shock. Like, um, like after an RTC or, or something like that. It was, it was adrenaline. It was a rush. It was amazing. Mm. Babe, this is delicious. Thank you so much. You're not eating anything. I'm not hungry. Are you all right? What's wrong? You know, the fact that you have to ask, that's... That's the most upsetting thing of all. I've lost my appetite and I... I don't know whether I want to throw up or... cry. Are you sick? No, I'm not. Yeah, no, actually, yes, yes, I am. I am sick. I'm sick of worrying about you every time you go to work. I'm sick of freaking out every time the phone rings because it might be the station or, or the hospital saying something's happened to you. Al? I'm fine. 
How can you say that after what happened to you today? You had someone pull a gun on you. You nearly died. But I didn't. But you could have done. And you sat there talking about it like it's... like it's the most exciting thing in the world. Listen to yourself. The rush. The buzz. I don't think it's exciting that you nearly got killed. I'm really proud of what I did today. No, that's not... I'm not... I'm sorry, I wasn't saying that to scare you. Will you have? And I'm sorry if you wanted to have a lovely romantic evening where you, you get to talk about staring down the barrel of a gun and the, the thrill of the chase. But I'm going to bed. Alice, come on. I don't know how much longer I can do this. Alice? I like the shows. Have you know? What's the matter with you? I really don't want to talk about it, mate. See it yourself. I'll, uh, I'll tell you something, then. Everything you've ever been told about Irish girls in bed is true. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> Mental. <laughs> to Nino, to think. <laughs> I cannot spend another day listening to you blathering on about Orla, all right? All right. All right, mate. Morning. Oh. From the bleary eyes, it's clear to see that most of us are still recovering from celebrating PC Prager's exceptional police work. Even if the woman herself couldn't make it. Boss, good news. As expected, all four suspects have been remanded in custody. In addition, I'll be liaising with cross-border colleagues. Early indications are this gang are responsible for numerous violent robberies across the South. It's a result that's going to keep on giving. Well done. Well done. Right. On that note... Than the heroes for in this day and age, who could ask for more? The crime wave is high with muggings mysterious. All police and detectives are furious because they can't find the source of this lethally evil force. This is serious, so give me a quarter. I was a witness, give me a report. Call April O'Neill in on this case, and you better hurry up. There's no time to wait. We need help, like quick on the double. Have pity on the city, come and it's in trouble. Get off, Sorry, mate. Oi! Oi! I've been throwing anything wrong. Let's see about that, shall we? Control, this is Kilo 220. We have four Ninja Turtles under arrest for theft. Request another unit for transport as soon as possible, please. Why are we getting nicked? Donatello was the only one doing it. You've checked me, I'm clean. You work together, don't you? Distraction. You dance, he dips. Hey. 
All for one. And one for all. Mm. Well done. That's all right, I mean. Mm. And then put the little one in the... Uh, that's Michelangelo, Sarge. He's small, green and annoying. I don't care what he's called, pissy figures. Sarge. Put him in four. Right, I'm going to need you to re-interview the shop worker from yesterday's ATM. See if you can get any more details from her, all right? Cheers, Anna. Thanks. <laughs> oh, my goodness oh. me. Oh, I wondered when we'd see you. Head, mm -hmm. guts, and I swear, my mouth feels like the inside of Madison's hamster cage. Oh, I don't want to see that. Sit here quietly until the room stops spinning. All right. DC Hawkins, you're with me. Oh, our uh, boss, I think. Eva Price. Vulnerable, juvenile, female, Miss Purr. Needs chasing up now. Let's go. Now, she's bright in an academic sense, but. She's had. She has issues. Uh... Anxiety, panic attacks, self-harm. She has struggled for years, and we try and help her. How do you help someone who doesn't want to be helped? And what does Eva do now? Is she still at school? It's just finished sixth form of college, and we're waiting for her A-level results. When did you last see your daughter? We had a family birthday two weeks ago. She walked out, and we haven't seen her since. I mean, we know. We understand she's not a child anymore, but even at 17. She's still our little girl. And you've no idea where she is now? There's no other way to describe it. She's been brainwashed. What do you mean? Cafe owner where she works. He's a charismatic, dangerous man. Eva's just seemed to spend more and more time with him, and she fell under his spell. She's run away with him to live on his houseboat. And we just want her home. Piers Trilby. Boss. The cafe owner. I investigated a similar missing teenager case where he was involved. Another waitress. Any charges? No, but there's a pattern. They're always vulnerable mental health markers. They move out from the family home, cut off all contact, stay with him until he moves on to the next one. Let's go visit this nonce on a boat. Yeah, we're just looking for a few moments of your time, that's all. Of course, yeah. So, uh, we have some upset parents who are worried about their missing daughter. We're just following up on their concerns. Would either of you like a chamomile tea? Uh, not for me, boss. Chamomile? No, thank you. So where is Eva now? She went out for a walk. Did she? You know where she went? Uh, I'm afraid not, no. Uh, she likes to walk. Watch the birds. Look, I understand. You've probably been sold a particular narrative by Eva's parents, but there really is nothing here for you to be concerned about. I don't lure girls anywhere. I provide them with a creative, elemental environment where I can support them in their learning in the widest of senses. I understand why people might think it's uh, peculiar. A middle-aged man with a queue of messed up teenage girls. Believe me, Eva is in every way my intellectual equal. She was being stifled at home. 
Here, now, she's, she's free. Yeah, that's why she ran away, is it? No, just so she could read books for you. Did she cook for you? Clean the boat? We share our domestic lives. DC Hawkins! This is D.I. Kane. I need a female officer to Beach Green to search and transport a prisoner as soon as possible, please. Just don't let them do this, please. Please don't let them take me. I'm arresting you on suspicion of possession of a controlled drug. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defense if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you say may be given in evidence. Oh, come on. Surely we don't need to arrest anyone. It's just a bit of weed. I'm taking Eva into custody to protect her as a vulnerable person. My concern is to keep her safe. Very nice man. And he told us that we got to be back on the bus in an hour. So we thought, <laughs> time for a quick one. <laughs> yeah, all free. Oh, we free. had some some pear cider. Oh, 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 but now we don't know who we are or where we're going. Well, well, lucky we know where you're going because Dwayne reported you missing. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oops, yeah. There is the... oh. Oh, he's gorgeous, isn't he? Small, but firm. Oh, I think you're barking oh. at the wrong tree there, Elsie. Oh, no. Are you one of those? Oh, oh lovely. They're everywhere in Brighton, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Not so many in Halifax, oh, no. Because no. of the weather. That's oh. Yeah. oh, there's oh. Dwayne! <laughs> Dwayne, we're oh, so, we got lost in the yeah. lake. Sorry, Dwayne, we got, we got, we got, we got, let us slide, I know. Come on, Tony. Please, mind your head. Can you dress? Where were you last night? Just a massive session. Lino's bird did a brilliant Beyonce. Did she? Oh, yeah. Got us all three shots. <laughs> Single ladies, my friend. Single ladies. Which is ironic, really, because she's not. <laughs> not anymore, anyway. You please stop crying. <laughs> Right, we're going or what? See you later. See you later. That guy's a creep. And he can wear hippie shirts, philosophize all you want. He's still an abuser. Yep. No, I can't. I can't come now. I told you I'm at work. Boss? Boss, where are we going? Afternoon, Sarge. This is Eva. 17 years old, she's been arrested on suspicion of being in possession of cannabis. D.I.K. and D.C. Hawkins witnessed her throwing this into the ground. 17. In that case, we're going to need to inform your parents that you've been arrested. Would you like to speak to your mum and dad? I'm not going home. 
I'll suffocate. I'll take that as a no then. Could you scan this young lady, please, PC yeah, program? Of course. You're gonna put your arms out for me. Thank you. Yeah. Underwear bra. Okay, turn around for me. Your arms. Thank you. Okay. Clear, Sarge. Room five, please, Donna. Okay. Yeah. It's over. This is South Sussex Police. Your daughter has been arrested on possession of drugs. She'll need to be interviewed by police officers. Mm -hmm. Would one of you like to be the appropriate adult? in the car. Thank you. 
It's okay. Eva, it's all right. Just let the nurse help you with those arms. Can we call a paramedic in here, please? And I need a shots tube now! It's okay. It's okay. my father. He had a stroke two months ago. He has left-sided brain damage, aphasia, coordination problems. I moved in with him to take care of him. Well, what I saw didn't look like care to me. He lashed out at the nurse, fell out of bed. I was trying to get him back into bed, trying to help him. He attacked me. Yeah, then you lost him. One of our prisoners concealed a weapon into a cell. Harmed herself, but... Paramedics have seen and treated her. So war on the control then? Yes, sir. Seems like a prisoner managed to smuggle a weapon into custody. Mind you, I'm sure your PR department would manage to put a positive spin on that. Right. Where were we? As I was saying, sir, obviously we're very restricted in what we can release before any potential court case. However, the chief constable's very keen to issue a press release publicizing the successful arrest of such a wanted gang. We were lucky gang. rather than the successful. I'm sorry? We were lucky that a single resourceful police officer managed to throw her phone onto the back of a pickup truck. We were lucky that the gunman decided not to pull the trigger. Otherwise, that would be a very different press release, wouldn't it? One publicizing the death of three police officers. Sir, if we could just address the Chief's questions. I'd like to address some questions of my own. Why were the other units so far away? Why are frontline police officers so thinly stretched? Why are there never enough helicopters in the sky? You know, I don't think I'm going to be able to help you with your good news story. But I will be certain to forward you a copy of the complaint about the lack of tactical resources that I will be sending to the Chief Constable. Okay? Thank you. Who was responsible for searching that prisoner? That's all we are now. Eve is appropriate adults. Eva. The mental health crisis team are on their way. And because of concerns about your mental health, you're going to be sectioned, taken to an appropriate inpatient facility. Eva. So they'll keep Eva there. She won't be able to go back to the boat. So awful man. It's a safe, secure environment where Eva will get the support she needs. That's what we've ever wanted for her. It's the right kind of help. Just can't believe this has happened to Eva, to our family. We tried, we really did. That's all you can do, you know. Your daughter was vulnerable and someone took advantage of her. And she found herself in a relationship that she couldn't escape. Abuse takes many forms. Maybe it took this, a, a crisis, for you to get the help you needed. Excuse me.
that situation, it's not good for your dad, and no, it's definitely not good for you. And is the officer responsible for searching the prisoner in custody? He'd been suspended from duty, pending an investigation. No need to leave the building immediately. What's happened? What did he say? And you're not allowed to talk to anyone else involved. Me. He's asked me to take you home. I'm all right, thanks. Well, just do me a favor then, yeah? Keep him happy. Come on, get in. Sorry about the mess. You know what it's like. Badly behaved McCall. <sighs> Look, I know it's none of my business, but you might want to keep a bit of perspective. Lino filled me in on everything, and it sounds like a bloody nightmare. But it's only work. I messed up my first marriage. As gorgeous he was. Looked like Colin Farrell. Don't tell Lino I told you that. But I got obsessed with the nine to five, ended up losing the job and the bloke. Just forget about this suspension nonsense. It'll blow over. Or it won't. Either way, Donna, you'll be all right. You're a survivor. Did you just quote Beyonce? Destiny's child, actually. They were shite. Look, go home. See your missus. You're going to be fine. Well, yeah, I mean, it certainly matches our gang's MO. Mm hmm. All right, well, I'll be in touch when we get the DNA results back, but it's looking like more good news, though, right? Excellent. All right. Cheers. Bye. <phone rings> Dears Moffat. Well, you know, I worked that DV. It's uh, Stacey Shawcross. Uh huh. Why, what's he done to her this time? All right, I'll be right there. Thanks. Please call X-ray for an extension. Three, two, four. Apparently, the stress of the assault brought on early labor. Jesus. Apart from the obvious injuries, bruising, she's all right. And as far as I can tell at this stage, the baby seems fine. Could have been a lot worse. So where's Tyler? A toddler, mm. already in care. And as soon as that one's out, we'll slap a care order on it. There's no way Stace is taking that baby home. Not unless she can get rid of Reese. Well, you can say that, but I can't. I tell Stacey to press charges in order to get her kids back. His solicitor is going to have a field day in court. Oh! Ah! Jesus, son! Look! Look, can you...
you believe it? I did one, um, then I thought I must have imagined it, so I did another one. Three times, same result. Ah! <laughs> oh my God, that is... Uh... I know, I mean, um, I thought I might because my boobs were agony, but then I thought that was because I was about to come on and, and um, then I did the test this afternoon. And... Oh, I can't believe this, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah, oh, I know, and I, I didn't know whether to call you at work or just, just wait, but we did it. It's amazing. Yeah. Hey, come here. Uh, so how, 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 how many weeks are you? Um, about three. Three, right. Okay. What do you mean? Hey. Um, right. No, 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 I'm, I'm just, I'm just trying to, you know, work out when it happened. That's all. It's, it's a bit of a surprise. <laughs> Can't be that much of a surprise. We've been trying for months. No, no, I know. I, uh... Come here, come here, silly. Um, what? This is what we wanted, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh. I don't believe this. It's not like it's even a big deal these days, you know. It's, I didn't have to go to hospital or anything. It was just a GP surgery. I just popped in and out. That's not the point, Carl. Isn't it? No. You had a vasectomy in secret be because you didn't want to have any more kids. Yeah, but that was then. And what about now? What now? No, it's out of our hands, isn't it? Yeah, that's the great thing about it. It's just fate, <laughs> isn't it, babe? We put all this behind us and we roll with it. Uh, for, for what? What, the, the next 18 years? 18 years with a kid that you don't really want and a wife that you're too frightened to tell the truth to. Dad, so why is there no hot water? Bethany, please. It's freezing. It's like Syria here or something. You know what, Bethany? Do you know who might have some hot water? Your mum. Dad! Not now. Yes, not now, Bethany. OK, your dad and I are trying to have a conversation. Yeah, a real conversation about something important. About whether we have a future together. Come on. Why are you letting her talk to me like that? Please, just go to your room. Because this is my house and I will talk however I want. And if you don't like it, there's the door. back inside. Sorry, mate. You're putting some violent scum before me. Don't do this to me. What have you done? 
Auf Leiter. Robert, I'm dealing with it. I'm not with you, mate. I'll do what you want. 